Hey guys, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be discussing about the future for Godzilla Minus One. Now, once again, I have not seen the movie, but I have been watching a lot of non-spoiler reviews. I've been keeping my, I've been keeping a good distance away from the spoiler reviews. So yeah. <laughs> So the real question today is where is the is the future for minus one is gonna go? Honestly, I don't really know. But then again, there is a possible chance that it could literally go anywhere. That's if the director, Takashi Yamazaki, wants to do more than just one movie. Let's not forget that this isn't his first time doing something with Godzilla. Well, let's go all the way back to 2009. I made a video about this a while ago, and I've seen this trailer, like, quite some time, and I, I don't know when I first saw it, but when I did, I thought this was an actual Godzilla movie. A Godzilla 2009 movie. But then I quickly found out, thanks to one of my friends, who were burning Godzilla, who confirmed it was not a movie. But instead, it was some sort of a little cameo appearance of Godzilla in this movie. So, yeah, I will say that the Godzilla design at that time was a little hideous. But I will admit, it was interesting to hear that 1998 roar with that Godzilla was considering it looked a lot more like GMK with a little bit of Godzilla 2000 in there. And of course, Takashi Yamazaki went back to Godzilla to make that Godzilla the ride side, which showed Godzilla, Rodan, and King Ghidorah, which I still wish we got a figure Because we only have Godzilla and King Ghidorah. Why the hell wasn't Rodan eh, add in there? Like, literally, he was in the movie. Did they just forget about him? Anyways, and we all know that Godzilla Minus One became the third time that Takashi Yamazaki went back to Godzilla, the King of the Monsters. And honestly... Minus One is the most successful Godzilla movie of all time. Right up there with Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. Honestly, I think those two are equal. Which, I guess I hope, I guess that will explain the reason why I'm not doing a Godzilla ver Minus One versus Legendary Godzilla for my little random skit series that I'm working Again, it's not really a whole series. It's just a little random group of videos that I just decided to work on for fun. And I know I said this in my previous review, well, not review, but in my previous video that I wanted to see Ingerius in Godzilla minus two, or whenever, or whatever the movie is going to be called. Honestly, I will not be surprised if it gets called minus two. And I think Ingerius will work out perfectly for the sequel of minus one because the first movie was practically a remake of the 1954 Godzilla movie, so it only makes sense. Now, the sequel should be a remake of Godzilla Rage Again. It just makes so much more sense to have the sequel to be a remake of Godzilla Rage Again. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. Well, what about King Ghidorah? Well, I think King Ghidorah, Mothra, Rodan, and Mechagodzilla are a little overused at this point. Yes, you heard me. I said it. No regrets. Mothra, Rodan, and King Ghidorah are a little overused. Mothra, Rodan, and King Ghidorah are a little overused. So I have to repeat that again. But still, I said it before and I'll say it again. 
Mothra, Rodan, and King Ghidorah are overused. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. Why am I saying that? Well, think about it. King Ghidorah has appeared a lot recently. He's appeared in freaking Godzilla the Planet Eater, Godzilla King of the Monsters, and Godzilla the Rise. Mothra has appeared in Godzilla King of the Monsters, Planet Eater, only for a brief cameo appearance, Singular Point a little bit, and of course, spoilers, The New Empire. Although technically it's not really a spoiler because the figures was, were released. So it's technically not a spoiler if the figure was released. As for Mechagodzilla, also overused. He had a very useless appearance in Godzilla The Down Inch Battle, a redeemed appearance in Ready Player One, and of course a little cameo appearance in Singular Point, and of course appeared in Godzilla vs. Kong. Rodan, well, appeared in Godzilla King of the Monsters, appeared in Godzilla the Ride, and Godzilla Singular Point who hasn't made a, a returning appearance, is Angurius. He only made one comeback. Give the spotlight to Angurius, not King Ghidorah, not Mothra, not Rodan, not Mechagodzilla. Plus, this is like taking place in 1947 or whatever year the sequel will take place in. And I highly doubt that Japan at that time will have enough technology to make Mecha Godzilla. So it only makes sense to have Angurius to be in Godzilla minus two. Seriously, like bring Angurius in Godzilla minus two. Like, have him be, like, the main antagonist. And if, and I know what you guys are going to say. Well, Godzilla defeated Angurius before in Godzilla's Final Wars and in Godzilla Raids again. Well, make Angurius stronger. We need a stronger version of Angurius. An Angurius that actually puts up more of a fight to Godzilla. Or better yet, an Angurius that actually severely injures Godzilla. You know? Like, have the new version of Angurius be more of a threat to Godzilla. But, like, seriously, that needs to happen. Like, like actually give Angurius a cool ability. Like that super scream that he does in the Godzilla video games, like Godzilla, Destroyal Monsters, Godzilla Save the Earth, and, and of course, Godzilla Unleashed. He has had that ability many times, so why not make it an actual ability in the movie? It only makes sense, right? And if not that, then give him an ability that actually hurts Godzilla. And I know I probably made a video about this in the past, about is Godzilla Minus One and Godzilla the Ride are the same Godzilla. And I still kind of am leading to that little theory. Because I still believe that Godzilla the Ride and Godzilla Minus One are the same Godzilla. And I know what you guys are going to say. Well, how do you know they're the same? Well, duh, they look the same. They look completely identical to each other. Not only that, but their charge of atomic breath is very similar. Not to mention the fact that literally the figures are almost completely identical with only some major differences in their design. Like, for example, Godzilla the Ride has small dorsal spines. Minus One has large dorsal spines. Minus One has a more of a round, more terrifying face. 
Because we didn't get to see that much in God's Little Ride. I actually kind of wish it was a movie, actually, now I think about it. Like, you know, not just a 3D ride. I wish it was an actual movie, you know, that something that was released on DVD where... Like, it's not the first time that a ride got turned into a movie, because I think I've seen that happen in the past, where a ride actually got turned into a movie, and it was released on DVD. So I kind of wish they did that, actually, now that I think about it. But still, um, honestly, if Takashi Yamazaki, like, would do more gospel movies, I hope that he could at least do three more movies after Minus Two. Like, we get three more movies that bring some of the old school iconic kaiju. Not just Rodan and Mothra and King Ghidorah and Mechagodzilla, like, the other iconic monsters, like... Baragon, Varan, Frickin' Manda, Titanosaurus, King Caesar, etc. Or maybe, maybe, do five more movies. After Minus Two. That way we can basically have seven movies. Got Minus One, Minus Two, Minus Three, Minus Four, Minus Five, Minus Six, Minus Seven. Seven guys little movies. From the Minus One Universe. If not, then maybe just four. Four would be completely fine. As long as these movies are good and serious with good kaiju action, that's fine by me. Because honestly, Toho needs to do a universe that is connect. needs to do a universe again. Because the last time we got that was in Godzilla against Mechagodzilla and Tokyo SOS and the Planet Eater. Those were the only times where we got an iconic universe where it takes place in an existing timeline. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't mind these different Ray Raw era Godzilla designs. But we need a universe again. We need a universe. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will uh, see you guys in my next video. So, yeah. Hope you guys have a great day. And peace out.